quick tour of a very simple solar setup and um, so this is the panel on the outside um haven't picked the best day to do this because it is not very sunny but that's uk weather for you so this is the solar panel got this off ebay a couple of years ago i think it's a what 40 watts let's see if i can get you a so yeah there so comes out the back of the panel goes into this ke connector this is not the right connector to be using but it's what i had so then that gets propped up uh, with a bit of wood then you can adjust the angle it's very simple so then the cable comes out and it goes into this box on the side of the shed um, and I'll take you through so you can see where the cable goes okay that is the other side of the wall box so you can see that orange cable comes in here and we terminate it then we go into this uh, old meter that lets us see how much current we're not doing anything at the moment because obviously there isn't much sun so it comes very simply from the solar panel through a meter which is optional you don't need that then it comes into here this is the charge controller so this tells me so the green light here says i'm getting voltage that's battery power and that green light tells me that the load is on so that's with the terminals here um this is a very this is a, just a cheap one off ebay this isn't a very good one then through this white cable got these battery clips which goes into this battery here so this is 12 volt 82 amp hour so this will charge up over a couple of days and then we can either use a 12 volt output or we can take these alligator connectors these big ones here oh, spark there and then that goes into this inverter so it's only 600 watts this is quite an old one so i would really only say it's good for about 400 watts it's not pure sine wave so i wouldn't want to plug any computers or any sensitive electronics into that but it does provide a good way of uh, getting rid of the power and there's a meter there just for testing battery voltage so that's it really nothing much to it for a simple stuff and then you just got panel out there in terms of upgrade for the future what i want to do is i want to first upgrade the panels so i'm looking at some ones i might insert a picture here um but i will have 320 watt ones i think so that'll be about 300 pounds for the panels and then i'll make like a stand for them um so you say 320 watt panels which will go either on the floor here on the roof of the shed though it's not a very good one so maybe not we'll find somewhere to put them that would go into the shed and then for the charge controller i want to upgrade to a proper mppt one that's just uh pwm so i want i'm looking at one from a company called ep ever and it has much a bunch of monitoring so again i might insert a picture here um of what it'll be like that'll be the next thing to upgrade then it'll be the battery so there's some ones off ebay they're 82 pounds each i want three um and they're 100 i think they're 100 amp hour might be a bit more um so I'm, i want three of them but i'll just get them one at a time as i use it then i will also eventually upgrade the inverter definitely to a pure sine wave one maybe about a thousand watts um once i've got all of that in the future maybe um and then might add some special control stuff so it can automatically switch and power some some parts of the house all by itself with an ups and a special changeover switch and some monitoring things so yeah that's my plans for the future although i doubt it will happen anytime soon especially with the server and computer projects that i've got going on at the moment I haven't got videos about them but yet anyway um anyway we'll see what happens